Welcome to another edition of Question and Answer with a Criminal Defense Attorney. My name is Mark Solomon, a defense attorney in Denver, Colorado, and today's question is about speedy trial. But before we get going, don't forget to click like on this video and subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. And if you're enjoying them a lot, don't forget to click the little bell to be notified of future videos as they are uploaded. What is speedy trial? Speedy trial um, has two definitions, actually. One of them is constitutional, um, and there are no strict guidelines. There's a number of factors to consider, unnecessary delay, prejudice, and so forth. But that's not the subject of today's video. Today's video is about statutory speedy trial, which has been enacted in Colorado in both rules and statutes. So let's take a look at that first. Um, this is the state speedy trial statute, which um, in section one says that if a defendant is not brought to trial within six months from the date of entry of a not guilty plea, he shall be discharged from custody and the defendant, uh, excuse me, and the pending charges shall be dismissed and you will not be tried again for the same thing. That's basically what it says. And there's a lot of um, uh, reasoning as to why this happens, um, what unnecessary delay is and so forth. But the basic part to remember is that six months after saying, I want a trial and I'm not waiving speedy trial for anything else. And, and, and if that six months comes and goes and you have not had a trial, um, the speedy trial statute is there to protect you from a necessary delay from the government, um, then the case must be dismissed. This same um, sat statute, 181405, has been um, enacted into a rule. And that rule is Colorado Rule of Criminal Procedure 48, which is essentially the exact same thing. And there's some case law to say that they um, one has been codified into the other, which basically means that that statute and this rule, the same thing. Now, if the case is a municipal case, this does not apply and the rule that does apply is rule 248 which is worded similarly but you can see this is the entire statute it's just section a and b and it just means that um, the speedy trial instead of being six months is 91 days so in other words you go into court you plead not guilty you have 91 days to um, have a trial unless the prosecutor, uh, excuse me, unless you want a chance to talk to the prosecutor in a pretrial conference, I'll put a card up here. Um, I'll put a card up here so that you can go back to the pretrial conference section to see what that is, because I'm not going to describe it here. But, but if you ask for a pretrial conference, then the judge is going to ask that you waive your speedy trial right, which makes the 91 days start at the next court appearance as opposed to the one you're, um, you're at now. And that means that the time you're asking for can't be used against the state. Because remember, it's a protection um, for you against the government. Okay, So um, 91 days for municipal cases and... There we go. Six months for Colorado state cases, 91 days for um, municipal cases. Now, in today's world of COVID-19, the coronavirus has thrown speedy trial um, rulings all over the place. So that's the way it's supposed to work. Um, I'm literally on my way to court this morning in a case where I filed a motion to dismiss because we are way past speedy trial. Remember that the courts are not trying to kill jurors over criminal cases, and that's where their justifications are. So that's the way speedy trial is supposed to work. Right now, it's a little up in the air um, because there haven't been enough cases to um, decide what happens during a global pandemic because this hasn't happened for 100 years. So that is the question and answer for today. If you would like your own question answered on a future video, don't forget you can put it in the comments below, email me or tag me on Twitter. And as always, you have a right to remain silent if a police officer asks you questions about where you've been, what you have, what you know, or anything. You have a right to say, I don't want to talk to you. And if he persists, I want a lawyer.